Hello and welcome back to Taz Wells 12. You are here on my YouTube watching me, the host Tara Wells, do another little video for you. Today's video is going to be actually um, a treatment for your hair. So I'm going to show you products, how you do it. I did put a diff I did put another one of these in my hair dyeing videos, but I thought I would do a physical one of the whole process where I do the purple shampoo because I have got blonde in my hair at the moment. I do mean at the moment because I'm thinking of going back dark, but I don't know. I don't I don't know yet. So anyway, so I'm going to do a, a treatment with the purple shampoo, leave that on my hair probably for about 20 minutes and then I will wash that off and then we will do the conditioning treatment and I will do that with different products as well and I will show you the whole process of that. I've just put a really scruffy t-shirt on because I think that's just the easy thing at the moment. So yeah, if you want to see any more of this video then please subscribe to me or please, if you'd like to see any more of the video then please give this a thumbs up once you've watched it or if you like the products or if you like the whole thing or you like anything in general about this whole video let me know in the comments below if it was helpful to you if you're going to try it out anything you would like to tell me about it um, please subscribe to my channel which is taswells12 that would be really great uh, and hit the notification bell because when I do more videos like this you will be notified straight away when I've uploaded to see this video also check me out on TikTok and um, Instagram because I post different things on there and that is all under Taz Wells 12. Before I do any more rambling let's get into the video and we will start. We are going to start this video off by doing the purple shampoo sort of treatment conditioner. I just do this every so often because as you can see this is a lot more like not orange but just like a more of a dirtier blonde than this blonde at the back and um, so we kind of want to even everything out so i'm going to do this first i only do this once probably every two weeks and then in between i'll wash my hair as normal with the shampoo but i actually just generally want it to sink in so i'm going to show you what products i'm going to use so i'm actually going to mix two together so these are the two i'm going to mix together so this is the L'Oreal Paris Elevive. Elevive, sorry if I'm pronouncing anything wrong because that's my pronunciation and I'm rubbish at it. So um, this is Colour Protect, Purple Shampoo, anti brassness Neutralises Yellow and Orange Tone, Highlighted Brunette, Blonde and Grey Hair. So that's that one. So that's a lot smaller bottle. I think this is about three or four pound. It's it was a bit cheap. I think I got these on when they were on offer, so I've had these a little while. I think I've got two of them. And then the other product I'm going to use is this one. So this is the Provoke Professional Hair Care. Touch of silver for blonde, platinum or white hair. Brightening shampoo, toning violet pigment, neutralised brassiness and brightens colour in just one wash. So this is a 400ml bottle. I think I paid £4 for this and this is a 200 ml bottle. So what I'm gonna do is mix them together in a bowl. I will show you in two seconds. Um, I'm just gonna explain about these two. I had one of these to start with and they're quite expensive, but because this is a 400 ml bottle, for that price of four pound, I think that's really good. And this is why I got this one bit in between because I couldn't find one that was cheap enough at the time. But if I had to choose out of the two, I would definitely go for this one. It smells a lot better and um, when I do this treatment it doesn't stain my hands so that's why I'm mixing them together because this might stain my hands a little bit but yeah this one don't stain my hands as much so preferably go for this one so I'm just gonna mix them all up in a bowl this is just a coloring bowl with a brush this is what I do to do normally my color so I'm just gonna put it in that and then i've got this little cute mermaid shower cap i actually got this from a pound shop um and i'm going to put this over there to do the treatment let's start off with me taking my hair out then getting on and doing the treatment so i've just grabbed a towel now so i'm just going to put that around me i know i've got a rubbish t-shirt on but this is just so it doesn't get anywhere else in this room because it's clearly not my bathroom. I've got my hair up, I'm just gonna take it down. Put it down. 
Right, so what I'm going to do is just brush all this through a little bit. As you can see, like bed hair and it's curving. It's only because we're doing this because I am going to go through sections on my hair to uh, get every sort of bit. So I won't go right up to the dark with the purple shampoo. I'm just going to go anywhere that's blonde and then we're going to leave it for 20 minutes. Right, I think it's everything brushed through, so that's fine. So we're just going to split it into two halves from the back. So, and then what I'm going to do is just clip this up with a bit of clip. And then the section that's empty here, I'm just going to section off, section at the bottom, and clip that up like that so that's the bit that we're going to start with now i'm just going to pour these both into this tub i'm going to start with this one first just put a good amount in because we're going to have to put some more in anyway i haven't got like massively long hair it will take a lot of product i think so just put both of them in there when they come out, I'm trying to show you. See the lighter purple one? That is the L'Oreal. And the darker purple one, it's nearly running out of the bowl, is the Provoke one. So you can see that they are pretty much the same, but there is quite a difference in color there. So I just do, it's just mix that around. It's gonna be enough. So we're just gonna mix some more in. You better have, you better to have more than less, I personally think. But we can always put more in. I just wanna, but it's all gonna be covered all in my hands, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Now we've put it in. Right, so now you've got it in, I've got a nice mixture in there. Got quite a lot on the brush. So we're just gonna take that section now. I'm just gonna pull my towel up and grab the section. And now I've got a mirror in front of me, so we just grab the brush and we're just going to stroke this on to any bit that's blonde more the merrier to be honest because now we're just going to grab my hand and then we're just going to rub it in i just want to show you the first bit and then i'll put this on a time lapse because i think otherwise you will be a very boring video just make sure that you've covered every little bit. So like split the hair like so and just swoop it down from wherever there's blonde. So that's all coloured now. As you can see, my hands have got purple on them. So what we're gonna do is just wipe that off, stop this as you've seen one bit, carry on with the rest in a time lapse and we'll talk when we're finished. I finished the whole lot, it's coloured in silver shampoo now, um, so what we're going to do now is put this on, I've just washed my hands because they were covered as my faces, and we're just going to pin this all up, and then it's going to be easier for me to then put the shower cap on top. Bit, isn't there? Right, so that is a shower cap on. So we're gonna wash out the bowl, I'm gonna get this stuff off my face, wash my hands again, and we will be back once I've washed it out and I'll be about 20 minutes. Right, I'm back. Let's see if this has done any difference. And then we can go on to the conditioning treatment. It's gonna be, oh, it's dying my smooth. My smooth, can you see that? Oh, it feels really soft, actually. That's really, really good. For the fact that that's just only a shampoo. 
Right, I'm just gonna brush all this out, which shouldn't take me long, and I will be back. So I've brushed all that out. That didn't obviously take me that long. It's actually quite soft. It's made the hair really, really soft, actually. So, and it looks like it's made some of this quite light, but we only know that once we have sort of dried it. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna towel dry it off a little bit because obviously we're gonna go on to the conditioning treatment and there's not really any point of drying the whole thing. When you're doing conditioning treatments, you obviously can put them on dry hair or a little bit damp. Um, it doesn't really matter, but obviously because we have washed it once, I don't want to dry it, rux it up, and then to then wash it again and rux it up again. It's just not going to do anything. The less you have damage, heat protection is 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 definitely going to make your your hair better. So. That is, I've just how dried that now so I've obviously got my cap I think I'm gonna pick another one of these up because if I do this treatment again um, it's gonna be a lot easier if I have two because this is wet now and it's gonna be set on my head for number 20 minutes so that obviously that purple shampoo must have been in my hair for about a good 30 minutes must have done because um, where I was applying it and then I obviously left it for another 20 minutes so yeah it was in my hair quite quite a bit to be honest so now we'll go on to the conditioning treatment i've washed out the bowl because you need to give it a thorough wash because obviously that shampoo that lava up conditioner doesn't so yeah i had to wash them out thorough obviously gonna use the same clips i've got it all off my head which is fine because it's not dye it's purple shampoo so it will come off really easy what i'm going to put in this mixture of conditioning treatments is a bit of kind of everything really if you've got one that you just want to use all the time that's fine go for that but this is what i do so i try and use old ones that i've got up coming about or i will use like a leave-in conditioner um i've got some other to, to show you so some of part of it okay so i'm gonna put in here the avon naturals this is quite an old one but it's still got some product in it it's still good mix it in with all the others it doesn't really matter so this is a conditioning yogurt hair mask um mandarin and kiwi for silky and glossy hair yeah so it just open it like that that's what it looks like so i'm gonna plonk some of that in then i'm gonna put some of this in this is really really good i might, might decide to buy this again so this is the naughty um 97 natural intensive care leave-in conditioner for frizzy and damaged hair with sheer butter and argan argan oil argan oil this is a 150 m bottle um, so I definitely will buy this again because I genuinely do like this product um, and I think it's really really good I'm also going to put in some Pavot um, Touch of Silver for blonde, platinum and white hair Colour, care, conditioning, moisturise and shine Leaves hair shiny, strengthened and deep moisturised This is a 400 round bowl I think I paid about £4 for this as well, so I'm going to plonk some of that in because obviously that will go with what we already use, so it's got a good mixture. And then if I do need anything else, I have just got a load of mixtures of conditioner. This is what I use on the fit on and every day. This is not bed, head and hair. This is what I originally did have in here. This is just a load of mixture ones that I've bought and I've put them in these bottles. I definitely need to get um, the ones that say shampoo conditioner and body wash on it because I, I just don't really need to order them so I might go on Amazon to order them yes yeah, so this is just a mixture if I need to put any extra I will put that in so I think what would be best is to put this in first hopefully you can see so I'm just gonna plonk it in with the brush and then you've already got some mixed in I've used four scoops of that might come back to some more of that put that in this is lovely the stuff then we're gonna use the folk I've got an old bottle here by the way so that will go in slide so this is why I do not like to brush in first gone the other bottle was a new bottle so I won't touch that I'm just gonna put some more of this in because this is actually a physical hair mask and then I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of this in just to give it some more 
But like I said, if you've got one handy that you've bought from a shop, you can normally get some quite cheap or you can get them from anywhere. I like a bit of mixture to be honest, but mix round like so. So just pretty much like what you did with the purple shampoo. Um, now I'm going to do the conditioning treatment. I'm going to put you on time lapse because it's pretty much the same thing as I did in the purple shampoo. So if I did that, you'd be pretty bored. But yeah, so we'll be back in a minute when you've seen the time lapse. Just as, as I explained before, all that other stuff of the conditioner, I'm definitely putting that stuff in, don't worry. But I also forgot one thing. So basically I'm gonna put this into my roots there now and mush it all up. Um, so this is Pucker Castor Oil. Um, apparently castor oil does make your hair grow. So I'm gonna shove some of that into the roots and let that simmer in while the conditioning is doing because I will go right up to the roots on this. So it will give it a good mixture. So we're actually gonna put that in. So I'll do that now. I'll do that on camera. I totally forgot about that. That was so bad of me. So I'm just gonna get some, this is so oily, it's so really sticky. But someone said to like literally just rub it in to your roots. We'll probably go on this, it's probably gonna be easier, isn't it? I did it on another video. And, but I've only done it the once because obviously this stuff is like glue. So because I'm washing my hair, I'm not like fussed of putting it in now, but like, I don't know if I'm doing it like normal. Some people like literally put this stuff in like when they're gonna bed. I don't know if I can, because look, this has made it like so much thicker. Yes, I think it's meant to do that, but I really don't know. Like you can see it, like, like how sticky is this stuff? Like it is proper oil, like. What do you mean? Like, I'm proper getting it into the roots. So yeah, they said to leave it on for a couple of hours, but I think I'm gonna leave it on the same time as the conditioning treatment. So. I may leave it a little bit longer, I might leave it by the time this is all done. It might be a total of like 40 minutes because I might leave it on like another 30. Um, but we'll see when we get there. But yeah, look, you can see when my hair is like thing, like fair enough if it does then, but obviously you're not gonna see the results like that quick. Um, but I think I'm only gonna do this when doing a conditioning treatment, but it says do a conditioning treatment and that makes your hair grow so like every so often basically so i might try and do every week if i can but god knows it is depends how much i wash my hair and whatever else so, but yeah we'll try it we're going to, we're going to see what it like so it's definitely feel like it's thickened it up so yeah i'll be back on the time lapse now that all in the time lapse now as you've seen so what we're going to do is just pin it up like i did on the other one hopefully this will stay up a lot easier so like that and then i'm just going to put this over this thing is such a lifesaver it's unbelievable it's wet it's horrible so i am definitely going to get another one, another one because this treatment is I'm just gonna let that on for another 20 minutes. Um, once I've done that, I will be back and then we can dry it and see what the change is. I've washed all the conditioner out now, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to dry it and then we can see it in a different effect and see if it's got any lighter because it doesn't look like it has, but it's very deceiving because it is. I am just gonna pawn it and then we're just gonna dry it as normal. I think this will probably be best on the time lapse, otherwise you're gonna get a bit bored again.
finished all that conditioning treatment. I think it's done quite a good job. Obviously, it's not going to take every single brassy tone out of my hair, but you know what? I think it's done a really, really good job. That has made my hair feel really smooth again, really healthy. It's taken all out of them brassy tones that we just did not need in my hair. I think it looks really, really good. I'm really loving it at the moment. I think it just looks just so much better. Yes, it's a bit frizzed up at the bottom, but you obviously saw I used uh, some swaths cloth. Got to be oilicious, tame and tame and shine styling oil for instantly sleek and glossier styles with argan oil in it. I used my brush that I got from Primark. I used this Revlon. Uh, blow drying brush i've been using that for my friends recently because i feel like i've got a side fringe but when i normally straighten it with the straighteners it doesn't seem to come out as nice as it has now like it's coming across a proper side fringe when other times it just won't so i think that's done that really well um i think all the bottoms this i've used my ghds i used a hair dry as normal and I think it's just come out really, really nice. So this is what it looks like. I think it's really pretty. It took a lot of the brassiness out, which is really, really good. So I'm happy. This is the end of the video. I hope you've liked it. I hope it's helped you in some tips because that's an easy way to lighten your hair at the moment. And then if you go out in the sun, it will lighten it even more. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you like the product, give it a thumbs up. If you liked anything in this video then give it a thumbs up that would be absolutely great if you like these videos as well then please subscribe to Taz Wells 12 that is me and that is my youtube and more of these videos will come up and i have lots more to come give me a subscribe and also give a hit the notification bell because that will tell you when i've done an upload and once you've liked the video and subscribed to me then the video will go around to everyone else and it will be published out more so a lot of people will see it and they will get the hints and tips as well so yeah if you're a new subscriber then hi hello welcome to join my little my little youtube channel and that i put on here if you're an existing one then hi hi thank you for supporting as always and yeah don't forget to like um subscribe notification bell also check out my tiktok and my instagram as well and that is that is everything so please 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 check that all out and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye